Hey guys, it's Brendan Borman back for another 270 video. In today's video, I'll be talking about one of the most powerful candidates in the game and how you can learn to beat him consistently. That candidate is Santa Claus. But before I do, I want to say thank you to some new subscribers to the channel this week. Thank you to Jace Lee, Blue Lanterns, Joe Spence, Carlos Enriquez, Cult of Fan Studios, and I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, but a big thank you to Buttwipe370. You all are officially on the 270 nice list. If you'd like a future shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and make sure that your subscriptions are public inside of YouTube. Now, on to the today's video. How in the ho 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 do you beat Santa Claus? Before you take on any player, especially someone who is above average in skill level, try to mentally map out a basic strategy. What is going to be your core state bonus and how can you officially get that bonus as fast as possible? Sometimes you might ask, how can I prevent my opponent from getting the bonus that is most important to them? In some cases, actually in most cases, it's impossible to do both. Because of Santa's versatility, it's really important to play to, you, to your own candidate's strengths instead of trying to block Santa. For those of you who don't know, Santa Claus has a 15% bonus in all of his groups. That's state groups and national groups. And while he has lots of options, he doesn't have a clear-cut giant bonus like a 40% manufacturing bonus for FDR or a 50% bonus for someone like Stacey Abrams, Michelle Obama, or Barack Obama. And while someone could go national groups, when I am game planning for a Santa Claus, I expect them to avoid national groups and go right into state groups. Maybe a multiplayer match with standing. But, okay, so you may be thinking to yourself, if the smartest way to play against Santa is to go use my own strengths, then I should go after the highest possible bonus that I have. And while that sounds the logical thing to do, that is not always the case. Like I've talked about in other videos, not all bonuses carry the same value. Queen Elizabeth has a really high agriculture bonus, but if you go after agriculture against Santa, or anyone for that matter, you're going to have a hard time winning. Again, if you're FDR or Stacey Abrams with that 40% manufacturing or 50% AA, those are going to be critical to winning. It obviously depends on your candidate selection, but if you have a core bonus like high tech, someone like Mark Cuban or Elon Musk or swing states like Tammy Duckworth or Ron DeSantis, that extra money you get every turn is going to be how you can counter against Santa's versatility. Put some pressure in states like Pennsylvania, Arizona, Virginia, North Carolina, Illinois, Louisiana, Ohio. The list goes on and on. There are many states where, where the state bonuses cross over, and those are the states that are likely to determine who's going to actually win the match. Still confused? Let's flip around the question and ask yourself in Santa's shoes. If you were a Santa Claus playing against your candidate, how would you stop yourself? That is the bonus that you should prioritize. If you're playing as a balanced candidate, then you might want to focus on one of the three big groups, such as swing states, African American, or high tech. Any candidate, but especially a Santa Claus, is so deadly when they can get two or even three of those 100,000 base bonuses. And just because you aren't using one of those three big bonuses as your core bonus, or, or even if you are, it doesn't mean you should stop going for bonuses like Old South or Town and Gown um, you know, through New York. Both of those bonuses can be a bridge bonus to maximize your efficiency. Maybe you're only going to get African American on turn five, but if you can go the Old South and get Swing States, you can maybe get AA on turn four. Um, so there are things you can do. Um, so pray, playing different practice matches, learning these different strategies, that can always help. But remember, Santas can be unique. Heck, inside the game, you can even make them a Republican or a Democrat. And while they don't have 
an impact on what color they are, different players might utilize different strategies. So if you're playing someone and you have a familiar background and what their tendencies are, that might go into your game plan. Someone like Jason Casey might start off in the Old South and then go after swing states or African-American because that's what he is comfortable with or that might be his optimal route. While someone like a Nicholas Sloan might go after New York, progress into town and gown, high tech, and use Latino or even AA money to pressure a critical state like Florida. Or you might have someone like John Bardsley Jr. go right after swing states right out of the gate, going in Florida, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, maybe even Ohio, and then snowball that into manufacturing. It can be via hangman or he can utilize New York. Regardless, Santa's options are unlimited. However, the bonus money in every game for every candidate is not unlimited. To beat any candidate, it is crucial to track bonus funds to the best of your ability and to understand the mechanics of the game. If you are still feeling uneasy about these topics, I encourage you guys to watch some of my other YouTube videos or I invite you to reach out to me on Facebook at Brendan Borman. To summarize, to beat Santa, you must have a game plan. You must play to your candidate's strengths, not try to block Santa too much, pressure Santa, but understand that he can pivot better than most candidates, if not all candidates in the game. Lastly, track bonus funds, and that's a good habit to get into for any match. This is the ballot round. Bernie Sanders did go on to beat Santa Claus. Thank you, Patrick, for volunteering to play me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you have any other video suggestions, I welcome those in the comments. But until next time, this is Brendan Borman saying thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next 270 video.